Hi everyone, I hope you all. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna dive into Bitcoin, bigger the coins kid crew. So right now, Bitcoin, it's got the close on the five day time frame above the top end of the Gaussian. Look at that. You know, it's been sort of crabbing in here, consolidation, resistance coming back to support, broke out, got the close last week above that level of resistance. That was super bullish. And right now we're continuing, we're getting the follow through here uh, for Bitcoin on the five day by closing above the top end of the Gaussian. Super, super bullish signal right there. But I just want to show you copy trading on Bybit, okay? So please pay attention, take a look at copy trading, just a quick little minute. Uh, tutorial on copy trading right here and what it's about and hopefully you know if you if you do join by bit the link is in each and every single video description if you do join by bit and you're not sort of looking to trade or keep looking at the charts then copy trading is for you okay so let's jump into the copy trading on by bit right now so taking a look at copy trading on Bybit, then I think it's an amazing system for anybody that wants to just kick back, relax, you know, and doesn't want to stare at the charts all day, doesn't want to, you know, doesn't feel confident about setting stop losses or support and resistance and things like that. You sort of coming into the space, then copy trading could be for you, okay, for an experienced or someone who just doesn't have much time on their hands to just stare at the charts all day. You could just enter copy trading. It's an amazing system. Now, as an exclusive offer for the Coins Kid crew right here, Bybit have said that they will compensate up to two hundred dollars for anyone's loss. On their first copy trading basically it means that if you come along and you join by bit okay through the affiliate link obviously in the video links right there then any loss on the first trade of copy trading up to $200 will be compensated back to you which is an amazing offer I think to be honest with you so basically it's like a free trade isn't it you know if you if you lose the $200 you get it back so you could just come to buy bit deposit $200 if you've not already joined by bit enter a copy trade I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment but enter someone to copy trade copy trade them if it works it works fantastic you make money if you if you lose the two hundred dollars, you get it back basically to do what you want with go and buy crypto or uh, withdraw it basically. So it's basically a free offer, isn't it? Really, it's amazing from Bybit. So yeah, to take advantage of that, just click the link in each and every single video description. Uh, come to Bybit, join it through the Coins Kid crew right here, and then boom, you know, deposit two hundred dollars and enter the copy trade. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay. So on Bybit, you've got certain sections. In the derivative section, you've got copy trading, and equally in the tool section, you've got copy trading. So all you do is click the link and go to the copy trading section. So once this page is loaded, you can clearly see there's a lot of people that are available to follow at the moment. There's a lot of people that are full. You've got full there, full there, uh, full down here, you know, and a lot of people you can't actually follow that tend to be a little bit more successful than others that you can't follow at the moment. So what you can do to filter out some of those people is go to All Master Traders, a little tab just there next to Top Master Traders. Click on that and go to All Master Traders right there, okay? So once this list is loaded, you'll be presented with a massive list, okay, 347 pages. You don't particularly want to sit there and go through the entire list. So you can use the filter here, a really, really cool little filter system on uh, Bybit in the copy trader section. What you've got is time, seven days, uh, 30 days, 90 days. You can filter by time. Equally, you've got this master trader rank. You've got cadet, bronze, silver, gold, and then you've got the master trader type, top traders by ROI, traders with the highest profit for followers, lowest drawdown, and top intraday traders equally you've got country and then this is the best one i think is the master trader badge so these are given to people that have you know got success rate in their trades top profit top roi things like that so what i'm going to do is filter out some of the noise here by using the master trader badge section okay to filter out so we're going to look for someone with top profit top roi uh it's pretty stable it's got a win streak I would say high frequency. I'm going to look for high leverage as well, just to take a little bit of a degen play today on this particular video, and then veteran and trend trader as well. So what we're going to do is confirm. So what we've got right now is a lovely little list, and you can clearly see we've only got 45 pages in this list right now. So if you you know want to follow someone from this list, I would advise that what you do is click on their profile just to have a quick look at their success rate. Okay, so if you click on their profile, for example, we'll take a look at Money Train right now. So we look at Money Train and you can see uh, he's doing pretty well. Look at that. So if we click this filter here, seven days go down to 180 days, we can look at their historical data. So pretty much they've been doing really well since Bitcoin bolted uh, at the start of the year, to be honest with you, in January. Look at that from around about the 19th of January. This has been really successful for this particular trade. Okay, so if we go down the list, you can clearly see at the moment these are some of the trades that they've been doing, and you can keep an eye on their trades as well. But then you could follow them. So I think we'll just jump into the water with this particular follow, uh, this particular trader, and just follow them. Okay, so let's go back to that page. So I'm looking to copy Money Train. All you do is click copy right there. Okay, so I'm going to 
put in $400 at the moment, funds to copy, and I'm going to use a stop loss of, say, $100. I'm going to click Agree, and then I'm what I'm going to do is click Copy Now, okay? Boom, so that's me following the money train right now. Keep your data on that particular little trade that I'm going through uh, for the Coinsky crew right there. You don't have to copy me exact for Zach, you know, just because I've copied the money train right there doesn't mean you have to as well. You can find your own person to copy and, you know, iron out the results with a filter system as well. And again, if you do find anyone that's really cool and worth following, please drop it in the comments or come to Twitter, send me a message or write in a tweet as well and we'll take a look at that and feature that particular person for the coins key crew right here okay so uh, again you can take advantage of this particular system by coming to buy bit the links are in each and every single video description um, remember you get $200 back if, on your first ever copy trade if you lose it okay uh, please take advantage of that particular opportunity right now from buy bit let's dive into the charts right now so looking at Bitcoin on the monthly time frame we'll quickly scan through some of the high time frames here right down to the hour to see what we can see going on in the current time frame okay so at the moment with Bitcoin I think what we've done we've dipped our toe into the Gaussian we're coming back up into the resistance of the EMAs one thing that would be really really bullish and for continuation of the you know the potential that this is the actual bottom right now on the monthly as well coming up we need to see these EMAs taken out of resistance we need to see our ass get back above the 20 week EMA on the monthly time frame especially and the top end of the Gaussian so those levels of resistance at the moment that we're currently under the, the monthly 20 EMA is 27574 I think we've got nine days 14 hours to see the close above that level of resistance and like I said to you if we can get the close above that resistance then you're in an uptrend on the monthly time frame okay so it's really important we do see that in nine days because if we don't and we've got all of next month and so on and so forth before we need to get our ass back above that so that'd be a really really bullish statement from bitcoin if it can close above the red line the blue line and the yellow line this month we've got nine days those particular levels of resistance uh the 10 ema currently sits at 24732 close above that is bullish uh and the 55 ema is 23660 close above that is equally as bullish but the most bullish statement we can see on the monthly time frame for me is close above two seven five seven four which is a monthly 20 ma okay that signifies an uptrend or the beginning of an uptrend on the monthly time frame providing you can hold those emas so it's, it is all about holding the emas on the high time frames let's let, take a look at the weekly right now for bitcoin so on the weekly bitcoin's looking okay you know if we can see another close above the weekly 20 and 55 and the 10 ema this week i think we've got four days 14 hours left to get the weekly close above the 55 if we see that that's looking pretty healthy for continuation this will create your create up and then it'll force you into this resistance with a potential to take out the top end of the gaussian and make it flip green that would be a really really bullish statement from bitcoin if it does that so there's a bit of confluence line up with the top end of the gaussian and this swing low at the moment so you know it wouldn't surprise me to see bitcoin just pop right here okay when people are sort of piling on the shorts a very crowded trade at the moment that bitcoin just pops and comes up to the top end of the gaussian resistance on the top end and then come back to the median line that's an absolute possibility you know you can never take anything off the table so i know the market's sort of drawing people in at the moment to a potential short but you know bitcoin has a habit of just doing the the inverse of what everybody thinks so anyway it's just technicals it's just data at the minute you can clearly see on the weekly we've got a level of resistance on the median line of the gaussian we've got the emas creeping up on our ass to support us so if we continually hold these emas this is going to keep creeping you up okay into resistance above what we're looking for is to bitcoin take out the top end of the gaussian which currently sits at roughly three 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 two okay so if we see that taken out i think that that's that swing low taken out which is a target that i think bitcoin's in off an ascending triangle take that out i think there's no stopping bitcoin because at that point you'd be going green and you'd be flipping green on the gaussian which historically has always been a massive massive indication of a massive impulsive move uh, for bitcoin right there so we're looking pretty tasty on the weekly providing we can hold these emas going forward okay and it keeps creeping us up at support please remember the minute we lose emas whether or not it's up here whether or not it's here whatever that's bearish okay so we have to be bullish at the moment because of the support that we're currently holding let's take a look at the five day time frame for bitcoin right now so the five day in a minute is smashing it because we've got the close above the top end of the gaussian so if this continues to hold this as support going forward we've got another four days 14 hours to get the close above the top end of the gaussian again uh that's going to be really really bullish because it'll flip the five day gaussian green and you can see historically when being red and it goes green it's superb historically being red and goes green it's superb for an impulsive move just to look at the power of that impulsive move after going red and flipping green and holding the top end of the gaussian and equally down here as well you know red gone green above the gaussian massive indication of imported moves so you've got i think we've got four data points just there that we can rely on but again please remember just because it's done it before doesn't guarantee it's going to do it again it is data not emotion we have to respect the data just because it's done it before doesn't necessarily guarantee it's going to do it again but at a minute it kind of is so just respect it until it isn't do you understand that's all i can convey to you so right now let's take a quick look at the daily time frame as well for bitcoin so looking at bitcoin on the daily time frame it's a massive test that bitcoin's on the right now so there's a big big fight going on between the bears and the bulls at the moment 
moment that not a lot of people are looking at but it's all about support and resistance like i said to you because at the minute what bitcoin's done it's come all the way back up into this resistance now if you remember uh, last year when bitcoin lost its support okay this was a technical target that it was looking at on the dollar and the cent it was beautiful and it started to come back up and like i said to you i think you're rounding off to come back up to retest this resistance just there okay because what you've done here for bitcoin is melted through the support 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 double top drop without back testing the resistance on the way down okay and that's exactly where we find ourselves right now this is why come early january when we've got this adam and eve bottom down here and this reversal pattern we start to get back up the gaussian you know and the EMAs as well I said to you I think that Bitcoin's coming all the way up to 28k boom we've got that and that's exactly where we come up to it was a monster trade for the coins kick crew right there okay beautiful beautiful move so anyway we ran this out resistance right now so it's squeaky boom time what we need to see here for Bitcoin is a confirmation right now that the bulls are in control by taking this resistance out and confirming its support if we see that over the next few weeks here you know for Bitcoin it comes up and takes out this resistance and confirms its support once more I don't think there'll be any stop in Bitcoin at that point you know but until it starts to do that there always is this the possibility that all you've done is just ran up into the resistance and you're looking to roll again so it's all about support and resistance remember that okay we've got technical targets to the upside we've got moving averages and things like that lots of confluence to the upside but anything can happen this is bitcoin okay if this is just some kind of big retracement into resistance and we begin to roll and sweep the emas and lose the emas that's bearish okay and we need to look at projecting to the downside but at the minute we are holding support to project to the upside okay so i can't get too bearish because of what the price action is doing at the moment but we have got a key test right now this previous support 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 lost the support it's come all the way back up to its resistance okay and this is something that i'm forecasting all the way down here fear not it doesn't matter even bitcoin goes to 10k 3k whatever this will come back up in time okay look at that beautiful and again we've got the very similar situation here we've got support support god candle melted through that support so where's the next level of resistance if this is broken boom there it is okay around about a 33k mark which is which is roughly where i think the ascending triangle target that bitcoin's actually in is actually at you know if we drop the drawings in here i think that you're in a technical target right now have a big ascending triangle at your bear trap you've got your throwback back into the pattern you're looking to break if we can get the continuation and take out that resistance just there which is currently where you're finding resistance which is previous support if we get through it i think then that's your next level just there which is that swing low take that out it's super super bullish okay so uh, until we start to do that there always exists a possibility it's just a retracement to resistance before another drop okay and this is something i, I don't know 100 what bitcoin's going to do it's all about support and resistance if we do drop and we lose the amaze then all it's done is we trace into the resistance of that swing low and boom down we go basically for bitcoin i'll keep you updated as best as i can on that particular scenario but in the minute there is a fight going on at this particular leg isn't there so what we're going to do is zoom in on the hourly time frame and see if we can see anything for bitcoin so looking at bitcoin on the hourly time frame i think we've got a very trailable event just here you know long or short it doesn't matter we make money on the channel so if we do go long if we break this resistance i think if you start to see multiple closes on the hourly time frame above 28377 we've got to go long okay on bybit or mexi it's entirely up to you we've got a beautiful sign up bonus for the coins kid crew the links are in each and every single video description i would be looking to go long at that point with my stop loss on the previous swing low wherever it is at the time okay which negates the long target so if we see multiple closes above 28377 i think we're in the target to roughly 29657 where we will see the continuation right there and we really are busting the move and breaking out but equally you know i've not got a crystal ball if we do start to break down and lose this ascending level support which we've been holding there okay and this ascending triangle if we do start to break down and we turn this into resistance at that point you have got to go short you've got to respect what the charts are telling you okay go short with your stop loss on the swing high and ride it all the way back down okay to the technical target of the ascending triangle now remember ascending triangles are primarily uh consolidation patterns before continuation okay the bullish continuation pattern it's just like descending triangles are primarily bearish patterns because you come down you're descending and then you drop basically so compression leads to expansion there is something that's going to give it whether or not we break to the downside or to the upside no one can tell you with 100 percent certainty but historical data suggests that this is a continuation pattern okay so technically bitcoin is looking pretty tasty and pretty bullish for continuation towards this technical target so i'm a little bit more biased towards the fact that we might see a breakout to the upside here for bitcoin okay and get this continuation and break out this 28377 confirming for me that you really are bullish right now for bitcoin you are beginning to take off okay we need to see that resistance taken out for bitcoin to get really really super bullish and hold its support obviously going forward for bitcoin so i hope you enjoyed that update remember stay healthy stay strong stay tuned nothing i say is financial advice we've got a very trailable event that's happening right now and you know potentially by the time i come back tomorrow bitcoin may have broken out like this and be up there okay and we've got a beautiful little long in front of us but remember always apply stop loss don't be a degen don't go in with your life savings and there's no guarantees. Take care, everyone. Back to another update on Bitcoin. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye bye.